In death, as in life, Paul O'Grady still draws a crowd. Hundreds lining the route of his funeral cortege through this quiet corner of Kent to say goodbye to not just a neighbour, but a national treasure. It's important to be here today because he's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I love him and, and as a family we all love and adore him. Um, he's just so special. O'Grady's husband accompanied the carriage with one of the couple's dogs as they laid to rest not just the entertainer, but his drag queen alter ego too. Lily Savage's distinctive hairpiece, a typically witty centrepiece. And what else but Lily's to top the coffin? I'll really miss him because he was a great, great talent. He knew when to hang up the dress. He knew exactly what he was doing and his love for animals. I mean, I remember lots of times talking to me and saying, I prefer animals to human beings. Among the mourners, Rolling Stones guitarist Ronnie Wood and the comedians Joe Brand and Julian Clary. But amidst a cast of comics, it was the guard of honour outside the church that put a smile on people's faces. Dogs from Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, in recognition of the work O'Grady did to help it. Since his death, a tribute fund set up by the charity has raised nearly £300,000. He was a big, big part of Battersea and it feels like a little bit of Battersea's heart has, has slowed down today as well because of Paul. He was a Saturday night TV staple, but his fame didn't define him. Remembered here as a man of the people and their pets. Ivor Bennett, Sky News.